This week's restaurant report card comes to us from the Port Arthur Health Department. Inspector Lamont Freeman is on the job inspecting restaurants in Port Arthur. This time he found conditions so poor in one restaurant he had to temporarily shut it down. We've got the highs and lows in this edition of the restaurant report card. We begin with Church's Chicken on Gulfway Drive. Inspector Freeman found an employee who used the phone and didn't wash hands afterward. There were also German roaches and ants. Freeman also spotted rat droppings in the storage shed. The restaurant earned a failing grade of 59, and the inspector closed the restaurant due to unsanitary conditions. Freeman returned the next day for a reinspection, and while there was still a pest problem, there was a major improvement in all other areas, and the restaurant was allowed to reopen with a score of 88. Now to Sonic on West Port Arthur Road. Inspector Freeman found employees needed hair restraints. There were gnats in the restaurant. There was mold growing inside broken equipment. And the inspector told workers they must post the latest restaurant inspection where customers can see it. Sonic on West Port Arthur Road scores a 76. Next is Subway on Twin City Highway. Inspector Freeman found German roaches. The inspector suggested more frequent spot cleaning. The manager needs to keep a record of pest control, and the latest inspection must be visible to customers. Subway on Twin City gets an 80. And finally, Inspector Freeman checked out Gulf Coast Seafood. He found improper hand washing. There was evidence of rat droppings. Gulf Coast Seafood on West Port Arthur Road gets an 89. Here's some other scores. Schlotsky's on Memorial Boulevard in 92 and 92 as well for Luby's Cafeteria, also on Memorial. And the Babe Zaharias Golf Course on Jimmy Johnson did well with a 97. You'll find these scores and more on our website at KFDM.com.